G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. I had a package delivered to me by AKK Technology to review. Now, if anyone hasn't heard of AKK, they've been in the hobby industry for quite some time, founded back in 2014. And uh, they're one of the biggest, if not the biggest, company out there who make VTXs for our hobby. So these are two new products that they've just released. They've sent to me two VTXs and four tube aerials. Now these are the new Alpha series. They've released four VTXs and they're quite incredible in my opinion. Uh, they've got the AKK Alpha 4, the Alpha 5, the Alpha 8 and the Alpha 10. I haven't unboxed these yet, so I plan to do it on screen here just to um, go through it with you exactly how I see it. you still got the wrapping on it. They've sent me the Alpha 4 and an Alpha 10, uh, and also the four tube antennas here. They're both 4.5 decibel tube antennas. The Alpha 4, the 4 stands for 4 watt. 4 watts amazing power. 80 channel VTX. The power is switchable, so you can bring it right down to 25 milliwatts. It, it actually changes in four steps. So you've got 25 milliwatts, one watt, then you can select two watts, three watts, and then four watts. Switchable power. So I'd, I'd love to know how far you can go on four watts. Obviously you'd need the right receiver antenna as well um, on that. I'm not sure what they're claiming with the, the, the setup they've got here with these tube aerials, what the maximum range you would expect to get out of the Alpha 4. They support smart audio. They have a nice little LED display to tell you what channel you're on. They have a fan-enabled heat sink and they have a built-in microphone as well. Uh, all the components are protected under the heat sink. They also have four mounting holes too, just for easy installation. The Alpha 4 input voltage, it runs from a minimum of 12 volts up to 28 volts. So it's a fair bit of power there. You're gonna have to get to run this from your craft if you wanna do it. And it has an output of uh, five volts for the video camera. 80 channels, and like I said, power ranging from 25 milliwatts up to four watts. And like I said, we've got the Alpha 10. 10 watts guys, 10 watts. The Alpha 10 also runs on a minimum of 12 volts input to 28 volts and has the output of five volts for the camera as well. It also has 80 channels, has five different switchable power outputs. It has a one watt, a three watt, a five watt, a seven watt and goes up to an incredible 10 watt also supports smart audio and it also has the LED display as well. So they basically look the same, just one is more powerful than the other. We'll get into the sizes in a little bit. I'm just amazed at what's come out in this hobby now. Uh, the only disappointment I can say I've got is that it's analog and not HD. So it's incredible to see where we could be headed when HD becomes something like this, because that's, that's amazing. Obviously the heat's going to be the biggest thing to keep under control, but for anyone out there that's into long range, this is definitely the VTX for you if you don't care about HD at the moment. So price wise, and we're going to be talking Australian dollars so you'll have to convert that. So the Alpha 10 is going for $159 at the moment and the Alpha 4, it's very well priced for 80 Australian dollars. Uh, that's somewhere down around, I think, the 50 US dollar mark, I think it is, maybe even a bit less, but 80 Australian dollars for the Alpha 4, so I mean, to be honest, an Alpha 4 is going to get you some decent long range as it is, without going anywhere up. I don't know why we need the Alpha 5 and the Alpha 8. I mean, why would you need in between the 4 and the 10? To me, the 4 is just bigger than anything I've even thought to buy let alone going all the way up to a 10. The four released uh, Alpha series from AKK, the Alpha 4, Alpha 5, Alpha 8, and Alpha 10. So let's, uh, let's open these up and just see what we got here. I won't bother opening it all up just yet. I don't need to, but we'll just, they're all the same. So let's have a look at the, the aerial first. So the 5.8 gigahertz, 4.5 decibel tube antenna is 160 mil in length, a base for FPV systems looking at long range more than anything. They come in two versions. 
Now the black one here, you can see on the end, that's five gigahertz version. So that one works in uh, 4,990 to the 5,500 megahertz range. The other one here is a 5.8 gigahertz version, the white one. So that one works in the 5.5 to the 6,000 megahertz range. They do suggest to purchase both versions because that'll be the perfect match then for VTX, whichever one you decide to get. Alpha 4 and Alpha 10. So let's start with the Alpha 4 then. We'll work our way up to the big boy. Not that the Alpha 4 is not a big boy, it's... I'm quite blown away with the amount of power that they've done here. It's a, it's a shame because of the rules and regulations in most countries, especially here in Australia, um, it's hard to sort of maximise the usage for any of these, to be honest, um, to do long range. But we'll see what we can do. I, I do plan to, to test it out and put it in a, in a craft. We'll see what we have. So let's open the box up and see what we've got here. Nicely packaged. Wow, that's a beautiful looking. Wow, what a piece of kit. That's just beautiful, that is. What a, what a well-made piece of equipment. That's some, some VTX, guys. All right, so your box also comes with wiring on top of that as well, and also instructions, which we'll lay here for a second. Got your fan at the back there, beautiful big heat sink. You've got a little LED screen there. You've got your plug that goes in the back here, so there's your cable there, so it's a very simple wiring to do here. To power the VTX you need to use both the wires, both red voltage wires and both black wires. I'm assuming because you've got 12 to 28 volts um, it, it, it has to have a bit of uh, wiring there so I'm not too sure why they didn't go a bit bigger wire or I don't, I'm not too sure there but I guess that's just as effective. Let's just have a look at the, the size of this. So length we're looking at 68 millimeters and with a width there of 36 and a half, 36.6. You got 15.2 mil thick. She is a chunky piece. I'll just grab some scales and we'll see what it weighs. Let's have a look here. Just the VTX alone, pretty heavy, 47 grams. So when you add your aerial, to that as well and let's say your your wiring might as well put that on and your extender 68 grams in total you're looking at there guys so if that wasn't enough let's open up the box for the alpha 10 i think i'm going to put the 10 in one of my planes because i don't if i'm going to test it i want to test it at its maximum and um, therefore, I don't, I don't actually see. I can go down to one, one watt with this if I wanted to. This one will go down to 25 milliwatts, I think it was. So I think, all in all, I, I don't know why they, they bought out the four of them, but anyway, there must be a reason. They've got some awesome technology, guys. If you haven't been to their website, check it out and see what they've got. I'd like to know whether they're going to be getting into the HD side of things eventually as well because I tell you, if only these were HD, would be my new go-to video transmitters. Alright, let's have a look here. We'll go open this up. God, they look, they look amazing. Really look amazing. So you can't get it mixed up. So you've got Alpha 4 on one, Alpha 10 on the other. Well, I'm interested to see if they're the same weight. So what we'll do first, let's put them side by side. So they're the same length, and it feels like they're the same width, thickness. They're exactly the same. So there's no difference in size between the Alpha, Alpha 4 and the Alpha 10, so I'd assume the other two in between this are exactly the same size too. So each each transmitter is identical, the Alpha 4 to the Alpha 10, just the difference being mainly the uh, output, one being 10 watt, the other being 4 watt. 
These VTXs, they, they do support pit mode. I don't know why you'd want one of these for racing. It's a bit overkill in my opinion, but anyway, you've got your button here, which will be for, for changing your output levels. So uh, to enter uh, pit mode, uh, you've got to press the button for 15 seconds and that'll put you in pit mode. Uh, to select channels, uh, you just it's a simple short press just to go through each channel. Uh, for the band, you gotta press the button for three seconds until the letter flashes in the LED, and then a short press to select uh, which band you want. Uh, to change the power output, you need to press the button in for six seconds until the number quickly flashes in the LED, and then again, it'll be just a short press to select which power output you want, so. So the Alpha 4 power uh, goes from 25 milliwatts up to 4 watts. In between you can choose 1 watt, 2 watt and 3 watts. So if you're going up to the Alpha 5, it's basically exactly the same, except your final output is 5 watts. Uh, the Alpha 8 is uh, basically the same as well, except you've got 8 watts instead of 5. The Alpha 10 has a minimum of 1 watt. Then in between that you can choose 3 watts, 5 watts, 7 watts and a whopping 10 watt. Incredible amount of power in this bad boy. It would be interesting to see what sort of power it draws compared to the 4 when you've got it in a plane. If it's substantially a lot more it would defeat the purpose I would think to um, have it in your plane. Unless you're uh, wanting to fly halfway around the other side of the world. So power consumption, this is what they're claiming in the instruction manual here. So the Alpha 4 draws uh, on 12 volts, uh, draws 1.5 amps. The Alpha 10 on 12 volts draws 2.8 amps. So that's worth noting. So quite important, I would assume anyway, with any VTX that puts out high power, you're gonna wanna get a lot of good airflow over them. So it's important to mount it up so that you get airflow around the whole VTX if you can do that possibly. Um, obviously, you're probably going to be mounting it up this way because that's your fan and your heatsink here, which means your channel's going to be um, not visible. Whether that's going to be a problem, I don't know, but anyway, that's the way you, you would mount it up so you get your maximum airflow. But ideally, I think if you can elevate it a little bit, that would be ideal just to get the airflow going right around it. Okay, so the Alpha 4 weighs 47 grams. The Alpha 10 weighs 48. They weigh exactly the same. Why would you want to go for anything less than the Alpha 10 if you want a long range VTX? That's my question. You might as well go the biggest one. I guess your price would be your only one. You've got 159 Australian dollars for this one. And 100 and, oh no, sorry, and 79 dollars for the Alpha 4. Both amazing VTXs. The way the uh, hobby has advanced, I do remember a VTX coming out some years ago. I can't remember what brand it was, but it had one watt. That was massive, but these are just incredible. Four watts on the smallest one, 10 watts for the largest one. That's incredible. And 80 channels too. I'm really looking forward to, to testing these out in a craft, just to see. Like I said, my only disappointment is that they're not HD. Because if they were, my fleet would be getting a huge VTX overhaul and these would be my pick. So guys, stay tuned for more of these because uh, I will be testing probably the Alpha 4. I might test, I might put that in a plane. I don't need to go the higher one, I don't think, but um, we'll see. So yeah, this is the Alpha series from AKK Technology. Go check out their, uh, their webpage. I'll put a link in the description down the bottom here. If you want to have a look, they've got many other things there other than just VTXs. They've got the cameras. They've actually got thermal cameras. And they've got a lot of other smaller stuff too. Go and check it out. So stay tuned for that. More on this, guys. We'll look at putting one of these in a plane and we'll uh, do some testing and see what the, the transmission's like. And we'll see if we can do some kind of range test without getting in trouble. Stay tuned for that guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.